Yo, what is going on guys? It's Brian, or Gamer Forever here, and welcome to something a little different than uh, the last few episodes have been. We've been doing a lot of Minecraft lately, so I figured I'd take the time to show off a game that uh, it really kind of has a special place in my heart right now. Um, and that is Thea 2 The Shattering. Now, if you've watched my channel before, or you're a long-time subscriber, you'll remember we did Thea The Awakening, and uh, it's by the same people. Just an updated game with a little bit of extra stuff in it, and we're we're gonna be checking it out today. So me and Austin have been doing a little bit of this, uh, quite a bit, and um, yeah. So we're gonna we're just gonna hop right into this, and uh, just like to point out, this is still in uh, beta. It's not on a full release yet. I believe the full release is scheduled now, though. However, for May twenty sixth. No, that's maybe. It's it's a little further on down the line. I, that date is not completely correct but uh, we're not 100% anyway so uh, as you remember from Theo 1 you this is your god screen this is where you pick your gods and you'll see that it's quite updated so our two gods are Horas and Ladia and now whether these are per correct or not got no clue pretty sure that's a Pokemon <laughs> or at least similar to it but uh, we're gonna go with her um, so this is your odd screen. You, our power is mutual love. Gaining or losing faction loyalty points is 1.3 times quicker, and we get plus four mental shielding. Um, we also have a domain of harmony and intellect, as well as we are four neutrals. Now the way this works is we go to this screen and we can pick and choose things that match our characters down here. Now we already have our stuff down here, so this is all fine. And, uh, yeah, so this is what, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and pop in. Alright, so this is our God's Chosen. Basically, if this character dies, we're screwed. I think we should go with the rat. I think the rat's the right choice. No. Um, we're gonna go with a gatherer, and we're going to name it, oh, there you go, new announcement. Uh, Thea2 has just posted a new announcement for today, so I guess we're playing on a brand new build, believe it or not. Alright. Um, so we are going to do a gather, and we're going to do a female gather, hmm, okay, well, that's a new portrait, we'll go with this one, and we'll make it Janae the Chosen, there you go, Janae, you're, you're the Chosen, and we're going to go ahead and start the game up here, um, for those of you who don't know, Janae's my sister, um, she watches my videos all the time, so we'll go ahead and throw her in there. And uh, we'll also be na renaming people. Um, I'm probably just going to do family members and friends, uh, not subscribers, simply because they're looking at my list. There's not a lot of public subscriptions, so I can't see everyone that's subscribed to me. I only have like five people I can see, one of those being my uncle and the other two being some friends. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Well, hello there, Chosen. Welcome into the services of the gods. As a believer myself, I'm happy to be the one to guide you. We're going to get a cosmic seed. This is how we make our village. Um, and who exactly are you? Theodore is the name, but little old me is not relevant here. You are. I'm here to tell you, the, tell you of some basic rules and hand over any divine objects that may have been bestowed upon you. First and foremost, the cosmic seed. Cosmic seed? Yes. He is far from land of prosperity. Darkness was defeated long ago, but he's not gone. It lurks in the corners and attacks at night. The shattering tears the earth uh, as under, and a scorching light takes hold of folks without protection. Okay. As under? Um, hmm. How does it relate to the seed? Let's see. The seed and others like it is a gift of the divine, a piece of the cosmic tree itself. It can grant great boons. It allows you to set up a village and provide divine protection. But if you wish to live the life of a traveler, or if you are skilled enough to create another seed one day, this seed can be used to forge divine artifacts, or even bring back a comrade from the clutches of death. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Um, so one cannot build villages without the seed. Indeed, you catch on fast. Without the seed or different means that other factions may possess, a village attracts the curse of light and is taken by within the days. And if somehow that does not happen, terrors of darkness will drive your folks insane. All right, well, there we go. We're going to be driven insane. Um, this is how it's been in Thea for many centuries, pretty much since the first game we, when we saved and replanted the Cosmic Seed, or destroyed it, depending on which playthrough we watched. It is now why we struggle still to survive to this day. Ask if there's anything you need to know. Let me pop up again. Um, 
He's basically just telling me to cook some shit, thank him, and leave. All right, there we go. All right, so we're on our screen here. This is our group of people. If we toggle resource, we actually don't have any resources. Wow. All right, great start. Um, active quest. Theodore's quest. Let me click on it. All right, well, whatever. Um, so let's check out our people and what we have. So we have Alberta, the human scoundrel. Who's a human scoundrel we know? Aubrey. There we go. We got Aubrey the scoundrel. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, we got a child with a bow. That seems fine. What could go wrong? Uh, we have a crafter. Janae the Chosen. Alright, so we got a few people to rename here. Um, first, we're going to go with this one, the crafter. We're going to go with KT the crafter. Uh, you're a child. You have a weapon, though, so... Hmm. I don't name children simply because it's hard to tell in this game if they're male or female. Um, we're going to go with uh, Gamer the Gather. I could do Gatherer. Gatherer, sure. I mean, eh, it fits, whatever. E-R-E-R. -E -R. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, give Janae the Chosen. She's a Gatherer. We're going to give her this, uh, this bag. Now, the reason we have some of this is because we took one of our ability things to start with uh, two extra un high-end stuff. So, uh, we got lucky and we ended up getting three, I think. That actually is pretty good. Child is not going to be able to wear that armor. Are you going to be able to wear the armor? You are. You're also going to use the club versus the wooden artifact. And no one else needs anything. Doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, so this is our group. And uh, basically, we got to kind of walk around here, see if we can't find anything. Okay, so we got some meat here. Meat and coal. Okay, okay. It's not a bad land to start. We got rubies, granite, coal, more granite. Now, are we going to be attacked? It looks like we are. All right. So we've been attacked by some beasts. What do we got? We got bats. What's the auto resolve look like? Okay. So it uh, looks like we should victory with some slight injuries, but we're going to resolve this manually so I can show you the combat system. So the combat system in this game is a little bit unique. Um, in Thea 2, you just had cards and they went in a certain way. Here, each time you have an action point, one of these things can be used for an ability. Um, so we're actually going to go with uh, you because you have a lot of shielding and we're going to summon a boar. There we go. And uh, so see, in order to use this again, it now costs two action points. These are action points. We get two on our turn, but because we used one to do that, we cannot use this person again until we, if we wanted to, we could reuse them for that. Now, uh, next, I think we're going to get this kid and we're going to go with the bow. Because he can, he's a ranged unit, so he can hide behind another unit. And uh, this unit will basically soak up the damage, hopefully, for us. Alright, so they went with a bat. Mm. So, see, we could use this person again. Who's our best shield? You're our next best shield, and you're just going to use your fist. So, we're going to throw you there. And then we're going to do... Uh, could be you. Hmm. Let's go with you probably. You got some uh got some defense. Okay. Alright, so now would be the time to use a nether ability. Let's see. Hmm. We'll go with the second archer. See, it used two action points, and but there was nowhere else to put our melee units, so it wasn't actually too much of a waste. And now we can only use one of these guys. Unfortunately, we don't have the room, so we're just going to have to end it and hope for the best. Oh. Alright, so you see, this took damage because it's both here and here. 
So it, it still takes damage on both. Now our archer is going to target that one. Oof. We're going to turn down that speed. That, that hurt. So we've taken some damage. We're going to do with our bow. Oh, are we going to be able to... If we go first. All right. Cool. We went first. Our boar went in. And uh, we took... Our child took some damage. I don't think they're in danger of dying. Oh, they are in danger of dying. Um, so as tradition, your gods have sent me to guide you on the steps to becoming a fucking badass. Um, tell him you get it. Cook me some food. Yeah. All right. So that's basically what he wanted was to cook food. Um, we're gonna we're gonna really want to uh, gather some of this. What if we do this and this? All right. Gonna gather some coal. Okay, so we're not in danger of dying. Yummy, well done. In here, one must have a drink too. Now, the same way you cook, you can also craft equipment, later build buildings in your village. You can also design recipes to see how they will turn out. Um, keep listening. Oh, and if you make special food, you need the same for something. You gather wood or better food. If you do not want any, make sure to exclude them. You find a looking glass icon. Okay. Don't forget to spend your research points. You can see your research points at the top corner up there. So now you've got this sorted. Uh, he has an abandoned house he wants us to explore. Cool. All right, so we're going to break camp, and we're going to continue searching the land. This actually would be a good city settle. Actually be really good to settle here. <sighs> Do we want to settle here? Is it worth it? Okay, so... The way it works is you can gather within two, a radius of two of your village. So we'd be able to gather this food. This would be our main source of food. We could get granite, iron, rubies, and coal for burning so we didn't have to worry about the wood. But we could keep, oh, one, two, three. That's actually a really good spot. Um, okay, so research points he was talking about is here. Um, if you remember the first tech tree of Thea 1, you remember kind of how this works. Uh, but there is a lot of stuff. Uh, it's more like a web now. And uh, my god, it's, uh, it's huge. But uh, So we got silver, steel, gold, quartz, clay, granite. All of this good stuff. Um, next you have weapons and tools. Again, looks a little different, but that's because uh, this unlocks it. And then you can get like advanced and expert level armors of the same kind or same with weapons you got your food and then you got your buildings now there's a little more buildings and they all do a little bit something different but we'll get into this more whenever we actually have a village all right so we're gonna go ahead and end that turn uh are those rats gonna attack us no they not all right so yeah i honestly think this is gonna be where we set up um does or maybe here because here would give us meat and fish no we can't set up here it's too close to that village um so this thing right here is a terrain artifact if we go ahead and start gathering it's going to take us four turns it'll reveal a random resource i kind of want to see what's uh what's here just in case oh boy got some rats and some bees and notice that a stork stands proudly on top, and you see its feathers are ruffled. Take a closer look. Climb up the tree. The bird's foot's caught in a metal trap. All right. Um, we're going to do an intelligence battle. Basically the same thing, but with different stats. So it's using our intellect as it's our health, and our attack is our wit, I believe. I believe it's wit. Um, so we're going to go with you, and we're going to go with you just right off the bat just throw them down okay so they went with that um we could throw in our rat for showing off he our rat somehow pretty actually good at talking to people that's strange but we'll go with it there we go and our rat gained attack because of that I should have threw him down first, actually, to be honest. So they gave him the bonus. All right, so that brain's going to be there. What do we want? 
Well, we only cost one. But if we were going to use a two, now would be the time. We're going to throw that down. We're going to throw down this kid. And then we'll use him to do a hunter's mark. So this brain... Is gonna go here. We're gonna try to make it to where it goes last. It didn't do enough, but it does less damage now. And our rat actually does seven now from showing off. All right, so it did four armor damage. That dude's gonna do three. It's gonna do four. Okay, you're gonna hit the kid for four. Okay, this kid's getting hit. Haha, -ha, the rat did an intelligent conversation. Heck yeah. Alright, so as you can see, the combat system is riveting in this game. One damage, oh boy. Alright, so you took some mental damage. I believe that's mental damage. Um, we're gonna take four, and then we're gonna do... We should be able to kill this brain here. Yeah, there we go. And then if the rat comes up, boom. Yep, rat will kill that. And there we go. Uh, we got some mental blessings to increase our wisdom and intelligence. Uh, cool. Rejoice. Oh, and we got a child. Yes. Excellent. Children are hard to get in this freaking game. That's amazing. Um, oh, yeah. We got we to gotta wait and see what, uh, see what the train artifact is. Oh, there it goes. It's a blood bone. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so we got some level ups. So the way the level ups work in this game is after a certain point, you get XP, and then you can pick one attribute to boost the character. So we can take wisdom, intelligence, or perception, but as you can see, one is plus two, the other two are plus ones. Do you are a crafter? Effects of luck, rituals, crafting, gathering, and sanity. Or uh, we'll take that. I usually try to go Unless it's just off the walls, not needed. I usually try to go with the plus two. It's just the better choice to do whenever you level up. Um, Alright. Uh, let's smoke them out. Set the traps. Uh, we're going to auto-resolve this. And we got some nectar and some amber. Cool. Alright. Uh camp all right so now is the time we need to discover granite uh where's my gathering there we go all right granite needs to be discovered and that's the best we can do all right so we're gonna try to get some granite uh rats okay so rats are attacking us we're gonna go with We're gonna go with the bowman here. All right, so they summon something. We're gonna summon a boar. And then we're gonna go with, you have some shielding, so we're gonna go with you. All right, so it's got duels. Who can do some damage? The rat can do some damage. Yeah, we're going to put our rat there. And then we're going to put child here. Which will boost the rat's attack. And now next turn. Do we want... This turn, I think we're going to go with this. For two turns. There we go. Alright. So, boar should go first. Line charge, that's good. Uh, we're gonna fire at this one next. And now the rats are going to go. Ooh, my boars are gonna get hurt. Yeah, my rat's going to take damage. That's not great, but he does get a good attack off back. That'll kill their main line, and then that rat should die. Yeah, 
Okay, cool. Yep, there it goes. Thought so. And uh, our rat has some damage, but he should be just fine. Um, and we got more level up. So Aubrey is a... Could use intelligence. Yeah, that's fine. And then KT the crafter doesn't really need mysticism. So we're going to go with strength instead. Alright, how much do we have of granite? 23. That may be enough to do this. So the way you do a village is you do an idol. And then you do this. And it's actually going to be a pretty solid village. However, we do not have enough yet. And now we do. We definitely should. Yes, we do. Alright, cool. So we're going to go with that. And that. What if we went with this? Yeah, that's a lot less. Grant's a lot better for that. Alright, so we're going to go with that. And we're going to start construction. And it looks like it's going to take about 10 turns. Um, let's take everybody off that and put the ones that are best suited to this task. Four. Okay, now it's four turn. And we'll still gather granite. Because granite's always a nice thing to have. Oh, building is not allowed. Okay. So what that means is that we are too close to this scavenger settlement. That's what I think thought which is very unfortunate that we cannot settle here because that would have been some nice fish hmm one two I think here is allowed let's try it let's let's attempt here confirm then we'll put these two on it and we'll go back to gathering that and then we'll do that uh let's check we're yeah we're eating all of that we're gonna run out of food soon we need to start gathering more meat but we'll turn wood off and start burning coal this should be far enough away we're just gonna auto the oh well i was just gonna auto it but i guess uh i guess we're gonna battle boys um and instead of a boar this time we're gonna go and send in big bad center okay then we're gonna send in the archer and the person here oh that's not good yeah we're gonna want you there you there Uh, we are going to want you to summon that boar. Alright. Well, I need to remember to get the rat down earlier so that it can, uh... Oh, boy. That's gonna hurt. When that thing does damage, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. We need to target that if we can. The boar's dead. Oh, boy. Yeah, this thing doesn't matter. It's this one that's going to hurt. Oh, why did you go that way? Ah, uh, That's not good. Our rat's going to die. Oh, and also potentially one of our people. Oof. I was going to auto-resolve this rat, but this rat hurt. Listen, listen. Leave them alone. We're, we really need to camp out for a minute to get some HP back. Yeah, that was not good. It was our chosen that got hit hard. Um, We're going to auto this one. That Yeah, see, that happens when that's a lot better. Um, no one died. We do have a level up. A rat really doesn't need wisdom. Doesn't need mysticism. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with wit. And you. 
Do you need intelligence? Go with intelligence. Okay, so no one's in danger of dying now. We, we made the one turn that we were in danger of dying. It's all good. One more turn on that. It says that, but we should be fine. Yeah, see, we were within, we were without of three tiles. And now our expedition's done. We're gonna go to gather. And yeah, look at our options now. So uh, once we get rubies unlocked, which we can do that right now, boom. Our village now has a lot of stuff to start doing. All right, let's uh, throw some of these guys out. All right, who's our best researcher? All right, so our house demon does our best researcher. We're gonna get him going on that right away. It's gonna take 19 turns, but that's all right. New task. We do not have enough meats for this. That's fine. Crafting. All right, so gathering. We need food. Um, how do we want to do this? So we go here. That's a guaranteed on that one. We can go here, and then we just need someone with 30. So we'll put him and the rat together. That's guaranteed on that every turn. Granite. We'll throw you. So that's every three turns we get granite. And then for now, we'll throw these guys, so every five turns we get some rubies. That's okay for now. Okay, um, so that demon that you've seen is this guy. Um, I am your very own divine house demon. He's here to hate our house and all that. He cannot leave our village. Um, welcome him and carry on adventuring. Yep. Okay, and we got some level ups. Okay, so this level up is an attribute this gives us like an ability or increased abilities to do in battle so like hurry up makes us higher up in the queue or disney's powder they get confused i'm actually gonna go with hurry up for aubrey um janae the chosen uh this is just raw damage we're gonna go with that and gamer the gather we're also gonna go with raw damage all right cool 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 so we are not going to die that is excellent. Um, everyone should... Oh, you do not have a weapon, so we'll make sure to get that kid that, because I forgot we found that kid. You're... Get out of here. I mean, we're not building anything, so sometimes this happens. So it's really rather annoying. It's going to keep popping up, but... I mean, our buildings are allowed. It's doing fine. Um, you have two across the board... If you go mysticism, you could become a witch. I'm going to go mysticism. We may get a witch out of her. Okay, okay. So we have our first kid growing up. Um, Alright. So we can go with a gatherer. A crafter. We can do a come a hunter or a warrior. We'll go with hunter. Begin the trials. Oh. And the child failed and is now a scavenger. Damn. Alright. Well. Um, this is the dude with the bow. Uh, yo, Combro, you're a subscriber. Combro. There you go. Combro is now a human scavenger. You were going to be a hunter, my man, but it uh, turns out you just weren't slightly good enough. Um, KT the Crafter. This character has a knack for luck. We can increase their luck, or we can increase their showing off. Showing off is actually pretty good for them talking challenges, so we'll go ahead and go that. And now we're just kind of passing the time. Ooh, we got some rubies out there. Um, and as you can see, it goes from nighttime and it also has seasons. Right now we're in the summer seasons for nine more turns. And every three, six, nine, I think every nine turns for some reason, uh, turns night and day. Or maybe it's ten, maybe it, the turn doesn't count when it switches over. But either way. Mm -hmm. So we're, uh, we're just going to have the passage time happen right now. Okay. So one of the kids could get hurry up or good luck. We're going to give them luck. Maybe they won't die. Okay, there we go. Um, 
They could become a healer. There's a chance with their wisdom or strength. They could go with warriors and, of course, crafters and gather. Hmm. Try to become a healer. Begin the trials. And he passed. Aw, oh, thank goodness for that. Alright. Um. We got Aubrey. We got Combro. We're going to just rename this man House Demon. House Demon. He's just our main boy, House Demon. Um, and then you. Who's a good... Who's a good medic, I know? Well... Austin is more of a fight first, ask questions later. We'll make it Bruce. Well, well, welcome to the welcome to the party, Bruce, the healer. If it was female, I'd do my mother, but uh, it's Bruce, so uh, welcome, Bruce. Um, and this will be a female. What, I don't know what you're gonna. I don't know what you're gonna grow into yet. Oh, and our rat got a level up, and we're gonna go with. You'll notice that it's level 2 of whatever we do here. So level 2 of showing off or level 2 of strength of the swarm. I think I'm going to do strength of the swarm. That's the ability that oh, a sudden hailstorm catches you off guard. We're going to find cover. Uh, you take cover in time and it's not strong enough to destroy everything. Okay, cool. Okay, that's good. Alright, so our house demon protective ward. He can be a protective or we can do 2 throwing. I'm going to do bonus to protection. Uh, make sure a good defense. Alright, so we're gathering some stuff. We may want to... Oh, and you can make boats in this game, by the way, for those who've seen it earlier. But uh, crafting tools or gathering tools. Let's see. Gathering tools. What kind can we make here? Increase gathering by 126%. And 2.6 increased gathering. Increased ritual gathering. Increase personal carry limit gathering. I think we'll go with this one, probably. Is this better? No, that's worse. Well, all right. So we're going to make a gathering tool, Ruby gathering tools, increase gathering by 2.6. We could do forager by 123%, but I'd rather do the raw numbers. And we're going to confirm that. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me who the crafter was. Who's our crafter? Uh, Katie. Katie's the crafter. Um, so we're going to put her on that. It's going to take her eight turns and crafting tools themselves. Let's see. What does a pure ruby crafting tool give us? Craftsman tools, increased crafting, increase the numbers, increased research. Okay, so that could be good to give to our researcher. Increased gathering and crafting. Well, this is for her. What if we do 2.9, but it weighs a crap ton? Hmm. Okay, two point. I can lose a point of a crafting for a lot more, less weighty tools so we're gonna go ahead and do that as well and there we go so uh, once she's done with this she'll start on that we don't have a lot of crafters so maybe uh, we'll make the kid a crafter and get Kelsey who knows um, shoot away creature spirit sits on shit <laughs> shit you scared me I mean I'm so so sorry for stealing stuff wasn't my idea I swear it's whose idea was it uh, I'm not allowed to say directly demon laws but I can tell you the story of mine uh, fine listen I was playing a game of cure with a couple mates uh, hook lick a pine conet and a tooth fairy fella would you well you likely do not know this but them tooth fairies they're real bullies so me and Frax the hook we decided to you know teach the bully a lesson beat him as game and well he cheated Cheat is a moral word. When us demons play, it is more uh, who cheats best. But uh, yeah, we we tried to cheat more, you could say, and together only things went wrong. The bully found you out and made you steal things. Hunting, too fair, only good for pulling. I got, there's a real issue. For, uh, started to choke violently. Puff up. Demon or wisdom. Calming down is demon binding. Doesn't let him talk about this, Frank. So clearly he's the issue. Ask him to tell. Him. Yeah, okay. So apparently we're wis we have enough wisdom or we have a demon in our group to do this option. Yes, yes, you know how things work. A curse of binding sometimes, but I'm afraid this game. 
Uh, me and you were stuck in it because someone pointed at you as their mortal to play with and only demons can play. Hmm. Well, only a demon can enter the game, and even then, only one with an invite. I got me two mates who can get you in. One's a coon. She's a shy fella. The other, she's a doll and not your typical sort to deal in games, but she knows things, so I'm sure she can get you in. Hmm. Green fog, and he disappears, but he leaves behind a map that has choose one friend. I think we're going with the dollar. Not the two. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with the dollar. And uh, we left. Oh. There you go. That's the uh, that's the alarm saying we've been playing a little long, but uh, let's see. So Combro, guess what, Combro? You're getting some mysticism up in here, and then this kid will get us some protection. Uh, that's saying we don't have anyone working on that. That's fine. Let's see. Do we have any resources around us that we would need? We could get blood bones unlocked. That's a thing we could do. Um. But instead, I think I'm going to save up my point for the meaty meals. That way we can turn our meat that we're gathering into meals um, in the cooking section. Because right now all we have is meat. And that's pretty much all we're going to ever have for a while. Um, we need to explore more of the map. As you can see down in the mini map, there's a bunch of islands we could go to. But uh, for right now, this is our land. So we're going to end the thing. Hmm... We're going to name this, but what should we name it? Ruby Land. Since uh, we got some rubies up in here, we're called Ruby Land. Perfect. All right, well, I guess more accurately, we should be Granite Land, really, but rubies are better. So uh, that's going to do it here for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, please leave a like, comment anything that uh, you'd like to see, and uh, let me know what your thoughts were on it. Anyway, I will, uh, see you all I will see you guys all next time. Later.